Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? If you're new here, I'm Dara, AKA Insecure Natural. Welcome to the channel. I talk about locks, lifestyle content, a little bit of everything over here, okay? <laughs> if you've been here already, welcome back. Okay, you locked in, I see you locked in. Or maybe you ain't. If you not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I post one of these here videos also make sure you hit that like button because it helps your girl's channel out so 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 much and with that being said y'all let's get into this video <laughs> So if you're new here, I've been locked for six months now. I've been losing track here lately. And I started my locks all on my own. And I've also been maintaining my locks all by myself. So y'all, I'm a bit late with the update. I've been updating every single month, but I skipped month five because month five was a lot, okay? It was a lot. So I'm basically combining months five and six in this here video. So let me start with the retwist, the last retwist that I didn't do the update on. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> so I'm happy to say that the last time that I did my retwist, I waited six weeks. If you guys seen my previous lock update, which was the four month video, I talked about wanting to wait longer to retwist my hair. Last time I waited six weeks, my scalp did really good. The main reason why I retwist my hair every four weeks or every month is because I have really bad dandruff seaboard dermatitis i have a little bit of all of that and after about four weeks so my scalp is like okay baby it's time to wash but last month my scalp did so good and i was able to wait six weeks it's been four weeks and the main reason why i'm washing my hair and retwisting after four weeks and not six weeks is because my scalp is going crazy y'all my scalp is going haywire and i think it's stress mixed with i don't know but for that reason i'm going to be retwisting four weeks at four weeks this is the fourth week if my scalp wasn't acting so crazy i could wait six weeks maybe even seven weeks because my hair is really locking on we're gonna get into the deets here in this video okay y'all gotta give me a second i'm, just, I'm trying to you know i'm saying <laughs> i do plan on getting this scalp under control so that i can wait even longer to retwist my hair the benefits of waiting longer to retwist your hair is so great i couldn't see myself retwisting every two weeks every four weeks for forever so eventually i just want to Space it out even longer if I can because I really want my hair to stay in my scalp. <laughs> Another reason why I like waiting so long to retwist, I'm saying that like I've been retwisting every six weeks. I only did it one time, girl, chill out. <laughs> but the main reason is because I love the way that my locks look after an old retwist. Is that after an old retwist? Did I say that right? I love the way my locks look, you know, post retwist, three weeks out, four weeks out. Once I get to like that third week is when I'm really loving my hair. I just love the way my older retwist look. I do my little baby hair and my twists get, not my twists. Look, I'm used to have twists, y'all. Not no more, baby. Well, some of them are still twists. We're going to talk about that later, too. So, okay. So, I've been trying a couple of different hairstyles. Not nothing too major. I really want to try a barrel twist, but we haven't got to that yet. But I did try a braid out, y'all, and I loved it. If y'all followed me when I was loose natural, y'all would know I'm a braid out girl all the way. I love the look of the crinkles. I love it. The only problem that I really had with the braid out was my ends. They're not locked yet. So when I went to braid it, I was kind of unraveling that twist. And I ain't like it because every time that I have to retwist and unravel a lot, I feel like it just sets me back. Now, ain't nothing wrong with unraveling because it's normal. 
but I just felt like I don't want to keep starting over if I ain't got to. Like, I'm making it harder for myself. The ends are finding their way. They taking a little time, you know what I'm saying? But they're finding their way, and I kind of don't want to manipulate them too much. My hair is really locking up, y'all. My locks are getting thick. We're going to get into all that. I keep, I keep going on rent. I keep going on the rent page, rent, whatever you call it. You know what I'm saying? I keep on, but we're going to get to that. Also, y'all. I'm able to pull all of my hair up into a high ponytail. Like, y'all don't understand. Or maybe y'all do understand the struggle. Because when I started my locks, I had a... Well, I had a loose fro, of course. But I had bangs. And my bangs shrunk all the way up. So, they was really short. My hair in the back is very, very tight. Even when I used to do wash and goes, my hair would shrivel up the most in the back. So when I did my locks, I always had that one style, y'all. I had the little last little row back here down and I had my bangs out because they wouldn't stretch into a ponytail. And even when I could get them stretched into a ponytail, it was causing my ends to unravel because that ponytail holder was pulling and tugging. Now, your girl can get a high ponytail with no problems. So I'm happy about that. I wanted to wear a wig, y'all. I wanted to protect the style. I miss wearing my wigs because when I was loose natural, your girl wore wigs all winter long. This is wig season for me. But let me tell y'all, that wig didn't last but two weeks. Usually I try to keep my hair in protective styles for a month. But y'all, I, y'all, <laughs> my locks are getting so thick, right? So I watched a thousand videos on how to get your locks to lay flat under wigs. I tried the low ponytail method. I tried the two low ponytails. I tried to braid my hair down to the scalp. And I still had this big lump of locks that you could see through my wig. Maybe I needed a curly wig. I tried to do body wave. I don't know, y'all. Maybe I did something wrong. But not only did I have a big hump in my head looking like the little potato people off the Proud Family movie, it was heavy. Let me tell y'all, it was heavy. I feel like the wig was just, because I glued it. I don't use lace glue. I use gas to be glue. Gas to be, is it gas to be or got to be? Anyways, I use got to be glued to glue my wigs down. And even when I did that, y'all, it just felt like the wig just wanted to come off. It felt like it wanted to slide back because it was so much back here that was essentially just pushing the wig back. Like, it was just uncomfortable. And maybe once my locks, like, actually lock up and find their mature size, because I know they're probably going to shrink up again. But once they do that, then maybe I'll try wigs again. But that joint was heavy. It was heavy. So the wig lasted two weeks, and that was it, okay? But my hair's already big and heavy. I can't do with heavy locks. Well, my locks aren't heavy, but just the locks being compressed and then having that wig on top, it was just, it was just too much. So as far as budding, the budding definitely has started. My hair is budding. I have some locks that in my opinion are almost to the maturing stage. And then I have some locks that aren't so ready yet. So if you haven't been here already or you're new to the channel or you missed my lock update videos, I have went in and split up several locks. The back two rows, I split all of those locks. And then there are some locks on the sides over here that I split up. And there are some up here in the front too that I split up. Let me make sure my edges look good while I'm up here trying to look them up for y'all. Well, basically all my newer locks that I went in and split up, they are finally starting to bud. It took them a while because I think I split my locks two months after I started my full set of locks. So they're about two months behind. So my back locks are much smaller than my locks in the front and the ones on the edges are a lot smaller and the ones back here are a lot smaller and I be forgetting that I split them up so I be feeling some type of way when I go to pull my hair up and I notice that the ones in the back still look a little stringy. They still look a little stringy. You can't really tell when my hair is down 
but like when I have my hair half up, half down, you can kind of tell because they just, they so little. They so little, you know what I'm saying? These locks up here in the front, they doing their thing, honey. They've been in the game since the beginning. I do have one in particular, I think it's this one. This lock right here is my fattest lock. And I touch it every day. I check on it every day. And I'm really, really hoping that all my locks get to this size. Not all of them, because I know they're going to be different sizes. But I'm hoping that they get to a nice, thick size. I want them to be thick. You know what I'm saying? I want to be thick and juicy. So, even though I have 103 locks, I don't think they're going to get too, too big. But I do want them to be nice and juicy. My twist pattern is also disappearing, especially on those locks in the front. The ones in the back, they still have a definitive twist pattern. That's how I know that they're still trying to bud. I do have some that hasn't even budded yet. So they're taking their time. The ones in the back are definitely taking their time. I don't know why they taking their time. I know they're a little bit behind, but they ain't that much behind. But we just gonna let it be what it is, okay? We just gonna let them do what they do. I still have very much twists at the ends of a lot of my locks most of them like the ones in the front like this one in the front it's no real twist pattern but a couple on these like this one this one in the front right here this is my little baby kid this is my little baby because it used to unravel every day the slightest touch it will start unraveling but now it's starting to frizz up and kind of do what i needed to do so we ain't really had no problems out of that one. And then I have another one in particular, in particular, this one right here. This one right here. This one right here is also taking its time and this is a new baby because in my opinion, the twist just looks so fresh. It looks so fresh. All in all, I will say that this definitely takes patience. You definitely, need to be patient okay i'm learning that every day because one day they look a bomb and then the next i'll be like what the heck okay but i definitely have been getting more compliments on my locks at first it was on my twist oh your twists are cute you know what i'm saying look like a cute little protective style uh but now people are starting to recognize them as locks and I love that for me. I love that for me. Because that's going to show that I'm really locked up, y'all. I'm locked up. It also confirms that I'm right on track whenever I get discouraged. Like, I love hearing that. So, I'm so excited for this journey to continue. And hopefully, we will be coloring hair soon. If you like this video, make sure, if you haven't already, that you hit that like button. To help out your girl's channel so, 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 so much. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so that you're notified every single time one of your girl's videos go up. And with that being said, y'all, I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.